We are now going to do the most famous demonstration in all of introductory mechanics, the hunter and the monkey. In this demo, I will play the hunter, of course. And for the monkey, we wanted to get a live monkey, but after 102X and the dead cat, we got a lot of phone calls. So we're going with this fake monkey. So here's the monkey, fake monkey, not alive. Everything will be fine. And he shoots it and he aims right at straight line, looking through his sights, right at the monkey. So here's the monkey, and it's sort of holding on to a branch. So yeah, he has aimed his gun where he should hit the monkey. He has it at some angle theta, gives it some velocity. So what happens when the monkey hears a bang, freaks out. Have you ever seen a monkey freak out? It's scary. Okay, he's gonna freak out, he's gonna let go, and the monkey drops. And the question really is, is do, does the hunter's bullet hit the monkey? So we would say this is the condition that's required for the bullet to hit the monkey. Well, is that what we have here? It is. Look at this triangle right here. Here's theta, here's h, and here's d. What's the tangent of theta? h over d. This is the condition you need for the hunter to be aimed right at the monkey, is at the tangent theta h over d. So according to kinematics, it seems like it will hit. Right? And according to your intuition, it will probably hit. You know that this bullet is going to drop due to gravity. And you know this monkey is going to drop due to gravity. They're going to drop the same amount due to gravity. That's what happened when these two terms uh, just went away. So you take those terms away, and sure enough, they're going to hit. In fact, the monkey has to drop. If you shoot and the monkey doesn't drop, the bullet would go under. So let's see if it's true in the real world. We're going to come around here and uh, shoot the gun. Monkey will drop at the same time. So here at Rice, we like to give the monkey a sporting chance. So we actually shoot him with a blowgun. So here is the blowgun at, set at the right angle. And then over there, the monkey is hanging from the tree with an electromagnet. So what we need to do is to aim it just right look in here and make sure that we see the monkey straight down the tube of the blowgun. And there he is. These are the bullets for the blowgun. And this little clip on the end is a switch that breaks the electromagnet. So when that pulls up, the monkey falls. So you're going to see that happen when I put the bullet in. All right, so I'll pull it up. And I'll go ahead and put the bullet in and push it to the back like that. So now, when the bullet flies out, the monkey's going to fall again. Let me go set the monkey up again. All right, everything is set. We've got the gun, the bullet, the switch, and the monkey. Now, I just attach this highly sanitary tube to blow into like this, like that. And I take this end, and here we go. 